All right, what's going on, y'all? She got CJ 100. The guy T is the five. And we are the, the five, five 100 podcast. podcast. I need y'all to do me a favor right fast. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell so you can get all of our content as soon as it drops. With that being said, let's get back to the video. You dig. And we got a special guest in the building it's today. All. So y'all go ahead and introduce yourself. I'm Amber, uh, one half of the Broken Egg. <laughs> and I'm Dominique, the other half of the Broken Egg. Yes, and we are the two broken eggs. Okay, okay. Because y'all introduction was nice. What's that, y'all? We didn't work on this shit so many times. Okay, great. That was really nice. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Thank you. What made y'all come up with the name Two Broken Eggs? We can so, 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 so much. So much. Well, I start off. And you could just. Okay, so we were at the restaurant, another broken egg. Five. We've been talking about doing this podcast. Like mm-hmm. it was we was talking about it for what, like a year or two. And it just we just never put the, you know, but we went out to brunch with uh <laughs> Mr. Somebody. Was, yeah. Okay. <laughs> so <laughs> and for some reason, I think Amber just was like, Hey, we was talking about podcasting and stuff. Yeah. And she was like, Hey, two broke what we say, two broken eggs. It was we something did, like that. We, was, we yeah. just said like two broken. Yeah. So it just came. It wasn't like no, we had to give it to you. Right. Your yeah. name. It yeah. kind of just but, popped up. But the name definitely stuck because everybody like, what that mean? Like, why yeah. did y'all come up with it? Yeah. Yeah. So different meanings. Different yeah. meanings. But that's how we came up with it. Yeah. Okay. So how y'all, what made y'all want to do the podcast? And like, what made y'all want to come on and cover the topic that y'all cover? She do the podcast she like. She yeah. had some shit. Back in the day before podcasts even got Ransom popping. Shout yeah. out to Ransom Long ago. <laughs> Long ago. So, yeah, go look that up, too. Yeah. But, yeah, she she been doing this type of shit. So, she just asked me. And I was like, yeah, let's do it. And I just talk a bunch of shit all the time. Mm-hmm. And we flow. Yep. The chemistry flows so well together. It was just natural. Like, it's just we needed yeah. to do it. Yeah. She's yeah. a nut. I'm, uh, I'm a little nut. So, it just goes so well together. And once it happened, it just kept going. Like, it just picked up. Yeah. Yeah. And people love us. Some of them hate, hate us. us. But, you know. Likewise. <laughs> cool you know how they go. <laughs> Where do you think the hate come from? Because we're very opinionated. Mm-hmm. And um, I guess people are so used to dealing with, I'm not going to say passive like that, but like mm-hmm. a woman shouldn't say this. But we're mm-hmm. going to say it, but not right. like not trying to belittle nobody because that's not what we on. But yeah, if yeah. you're going to give it to us, we're definitely going to give it back. So right. that's, I think that's where the hate come from. You know, yeah. they feel like, oh, you're a woman. You're supposed yeah. to be like you're this. You're supposed to act you're... a certain way. You're supposed to carry yourself this way and that mm. way. When yeah. really, that's not what people really want to see or want to hear. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, no fake shit. People want to yeah. hear real shit, whether they put it out there or not. Yeah. For real. Like, you're going to respect something we say. Like, you might not yeah. like the whole thing, but you're going to pull something right. out of something. Mm-hmm. It's funny that y'all mentioned it because that leads to one of the first questions we got, which is, you know, in listening to y'all podcast, Y'all say nigga and bitch and hoe a lot when y'all when y'all describe men and women, mm-hmm. but you know it's a difference between a nigga and a man mm-hmm. and yeah. a bitch and a of woman. Course. Mm-hmm. Of course. So make sure y'all use those words. Like yeah, what, what, like in describing a man, y'all say nigga a lot, and you trying to break the difference up of what's what. We ain't. I don't think we tried to break the difference up. You know what I'm saying? Like to me, not just to me, but like a man. Hey, that's a nigga. That's just period. Yeah. Uh, and we don't talk, call everybody bitches and shit yeah, yeah, yeah. like that, but mm-hmm. we will, if, you know, if it goes there, but it ain't no, just no personal thing. Like, the nigga, like, yeah, that nigga said, hey, man, you just the nigga at that time. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Don't, don't take it personal, mm-hmm. but you, you the that's nigga. Like, if somebody asks me yeah, something, that's, that's I'm going to say... So. Oh, the nigga over there, you said the nigga standing right there. Yeah. It's almost yeah. like junk. Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah, junk. Yeah, yeah. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. But junk that's like, unisexual. You can use that anywhere. Bitches nigga? too. <laughs> nigga uh, too. Bitch no, ain't bitches though. Too. Yeah, bitch bitches, can't. Bitches unisex too. That's for a man. Man. For disrespect, one. maybe. Yeah. Right. But, okay. but for a regular unisex. conversation? Yeah. Hell no. Nah, yeah. Bitch ain't. That ain't fly. No, not a regular conversation, but yeah. a bitch can definitely be a man or a woman. Oh, yeah. Definitely. But see, like, and we get. <laughs> That's why I say we're very opinionated. Mm. Cause my definition, I could be talking about you as the nigga, but yeah, like yeah. not like not trying to degrade you or yeah, nothing. No, we don't take just, offense to it. Yeah, okay. Yeah, so yeah. but 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. cause cause <laughs> now we well, I definitely know the difference between a nigga and a man. Yeah. It's a difference. It's a, yeah. like we know mm-hmm. that, like you just said, a bitch mm-hmm. and a, a woman. Yeah. Yes. We know the difference. But it's just that's just part of our conversation right. lingo, yeah, that's and that's though. why we yeah, try to tell it. people like <laughs> some people not gonna like it. Some people yeah. are not gonna agree with what we say. And oh, y'all get filthy, man. My mouth is filthy. I'm I'm, I'm I'm working on it. It's very filthy. <laughs> yeah. But I mean, it's this is me though. Right, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Like I can't. I can't sit up here and act like, okay, so I'm going to be politically correct about everything. Yeah. I, y'all, that shit boring. That shit yeah, ain't, that's like, not who we is. Especially yeah. if you're on tour, like, you don't, you're not going to say about it like, you know, I was in tour with the man. This yeah. shit sounds <laughs> wank as fuck. Like, oh, I got a tour with the man down street, I got a tour with the nigga. And yeah. No, I said, man, if y'all seen in the ass though too, y'all see how we talk to right. So it ain't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It wasn't no slight. It was just a just question. A question. Yeah. It's, a question. it's cool. Because yeah. they, they need to know. Our people need to know this too. Like yeah. we, we do we call just, some people men. Yeah. Men. Mm-hmm. If you come off as being a man. If you come off as being a man. Yeah. Because yeah. y'all yeah. sitting like two respectful men to right. me. You know right. what I'm saying? Right. Yeah. But now if you come off as being a man, because y'all sitting like two respectful men to me. You know what I'm saying? But now if you come off as being a man, you know what I'm saying? But now if you come in here acting like a bitch. <laughs> it, it, now, now if you disrespect, if you disrespect yeah. me, you make you're gonna get caught up. Yeah, right. You're gonna get caught. Whatever comes to my head, you're you know gonna what I'm saying. Right, I'm gonna shoot out. Okay. But yeah. like, and then if we get out of here, that bitch ass. You know <laughs> it just it'd it, be like that. You yeah. know how it go? We split off, but we talk different right now. <laughs> right, right, yeah. right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. So yeah, it's it's cool. It's, it's the, we it's just have two potty mouths, but generally. this. This is who we are on the podcast. And then tomorrow we want to get up and go to work and, and be, be in corporate America. Right. Yeah. It's work. And they're going to yeah. do this. they going to do that. But when you clock out, when you clock in here, it's just What's up, bitch? No, I'm just playing. <laughs> so, uh, where y'all from? I'm from Memphis. Memphis. I'm, what part of Memphis? I'm from East Memphis. From the East? Raleigh. The East, East, or like Shelby Drive. It was Germantown. She when also, I was East. 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 Yeah. Okay, East. I, I went the to East. Okay. East in the Old East. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah it was the well, Old East. It used to be, yeah. 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 And then we got Annex, and I had to go to yeah. Kirby. Like where yeah. Cordova from the B. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Basically, yeah. yeah. <laughs> they, they, ours happened some years ago, yeah. so we yeah. used to it now. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So one of the things I wanted to bring up that I saw that y'all talked about was okay. the 50 50 bill conversation. Now, I don't think y'all, do y'all have an issue with 50 50? Okay, but I remember. Wait, I, she do. She lied. I she know. got fifth and all this. Oh, <laughs> I don't. It, I, go, go ahead. ahead. <laughs> uh, <laughs> go ahead. First. Elaborate first, and then yeah. Okay. But I don't. But go ahead. Okay. Well, I'll just say what I what I heard you say that I thought Me? about. Right. Yeah. You. I think it was you. You said. Uh, now I ain't saying verbatim because I don't remember exactly. I'm right. Chick but um, <laughs> I think you said basically you ain't finna do fifty fifty with a dude if he expecting you. To cook, clean, take care of the kids. Like you said, suck dick without a rubber or something like that. <laughs> yeah. It was, it was something like that. Definitely. So did it. that's your stance on it. Yeah. I said, uh, I don't think it should be, it's not 50 50 then. You know what I'm yeah. saying? When we come home from work, we go, we pick back up and go to work. Like right. it's work at home too. Mm-hmm. When y'all come home from work, it's over with. So mm-hmm. it, it's, it's over. It's over with. Not okay. all men. Some men act, but are active dads. Some, but right. or active husbands. We we don't clock out, so therefore it's not 50-50. So yes, if I work like you work, yeah. Fuck no, I don't want to come home and cook every day. Fuck no, I don't yeah. want to come home and clean up every day. Fuck no, I don't want to do everything for the kids every day. Right. Fuck no, I don't want to suck dick with without or without a rubber <laughs> every day. <laughs> hey, that killed me when she said <laughs> without the rubber. Like if the only thing you doing is paying the bills, then it's not fifty. That's not 50-50. Oh, uh, so you said you were saying, oh no, you're talking about if it's 50-50 on the bills, then you're not being 50. Yeah, you need okay. to do what were you, 60 and what 40. Were you, uh, what were you thinking it was? You know, no, I was just thinking you were saying, okay, if we're both paying, yeah, in a relationship, you're living oh. together, whether you mm-hmm. in a relationship or you married, whatever. Mm-hmm. And I was thinking you were saying, okay, he paying 50% of the bills, you paying 50% of the bills. You have a problem if you want me to do all this and I'm paying 50% of the bill. Yeah, I think everything needs to be split. Yeah. Just split everything. Yeah. Like, you wash Chores. dishes Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. I wash them Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And hey, when I get up and say, I, I take the kids to school this week, you take them next week. Like, all that house shit solely be based on, like, this shit fall back on women. And maybe not everybody's household, but yeah. majority. majority, like, we got to take care of the house. Period. Right. Point blank. Once them bills are split, yes, we still got to do everything. So that shit is not 50-50. Like, <sighs> okay, you know? I'm, I'm going to push back a little bit. Oh. All right, so this is why I, this is how I feel about it. me personally, and me and him got two different philosophies on it. <laughs> I was married before. Um, I'm not married now. I'm single, but I won't get married again until I can pay 100 percent of the bill. That's just my viewpoint. I want my woman not to go to work. 
And when we have kids, I want her to be able to take care of the kids and <clears throat> like not a daycare, mm-hmm. have a push up on my child. I want my child to learn from my, my woman and me. Of course, I'm playing my part too. But I was saying, let's say you got a house with a man and y'all both paying 50-50. You ain't cutting no grass. Okay. You like you're not taking out the trash. If something go down, you're not going to most likely fix it unless it's, I don't know, fucking, I don't even know. But <laughs> I get it. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, my thing is, if, we, if we're willing to do our responsibilities and then we help each other out on those responsibilities, I feel like that should work. So that's when I was, li- when I was listening to it, I was like, I think people forget that men do shit in the house too. And it's not just in the context of washing dishes or wash folding clothes and all that shit. It's like, shit, I plunged the toilet, God damn it, <laughs> killed the bugs, God damn it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Oh, yeah. my you know God, saying? I hate you. You win, but I definitely go 50-50 and kill bugs. Yeah. Yeah. God damn it. That ain't going to trash out. Spiders. That ain't whatever it is. Whatever. <laughs> it could be <laughs> anything. Hey, hey, quick story. <laughs> right? Lady bugs. <laughs> quick story. I used to stay in the Sycamore Lakes, right? Mm-hmm. I had left some cereal on the counter. So I came back in the house. I was with my girl at the time. And I seen the roach. I told her, don't come in the house. Swear to God, that hoe was standing up and was picking up the, the Captain Crunch cereal. Swear to God, it was on his back leg. Wow. He got water bug. And that hoe could fly. Yes. Oh, my oh, God. I Please kill it. I might pay the rent and I missed the whole rent next month. I missed it. <laughs> that hoe started flying. I was screaming this shit. <laughs> <laughs> I missed the shit out of it. You don't never know what that joint going to And I never found the motherfucker. I was in fear. Oh. I, got, I got to get the pistol for this motherfucker. That was so good. <laughs> so, let's just, you know, pick back up on what you're talking about. Like, okay. you kind of just got to do What's best, best for, for your you. house? I you agree. know you communicate that shit with your person. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Agreed. Like you said, you you want to do a hundred. Yeah. He don't want to do a hundred. Right. I'm cool with doing fifty. She may not be cool doing fifty. Right. You, know, you just gotta communicate that shit with with your folks. You know so, what I'm saying? So let's so, get into the hundred. What's the benefit for a man if he paying a hundred percent of the bill? What he get from his wife? I know what I feel, but what do y'all? Think? I I feel like if a man is paying a hundred, he mm. shouldn't have to complain about anything. The mm. house is supposed Everything to be clean. Be the yeah. dinner is supposed to be cooked. Or if yeah. you're not cooking dinner, you are supposed to have something to eat when you get off work. Yeah. You know, or when you come in the house, yeah, <laughs> the kids soon is as. taken care of. Mm. That's you ain't got to worry about the house. You just we, come yeah. home. You, you come, come home. home yeah, you got we just rent. need you to do that. <laughs> Everything okay. else is handled. That's fair. That, now that's. How that that that's supposed to go? It yeah. definitely in a perfect world because even sometimes that shit ain't gonna happen. Right? Because you know kids can be at home and hey, we didn't get a chance to cook because we ran these kids <laughs> right. around. Right? Right. So right. Right. Just in a perfect world and you just gotta be real about what you. But I, I mean, you do a hundred. I'm still going to work because you yeah. can break bad at any, any fucking time. Yeah. Then what I got? That's just you know what see. I'm that's so, what I ain't with. Like if I'm doing hundred percent of the bills, you work. I'm like, nah, you sit your ass down. But this is how I look at it because I've I've seen a lot of situations where it's like, okay. That's giving you a chance to build up if you're ready to leave. You see what I'm saying? But why would but you that's not giving me a to... chance to, that's giving my bad, a, a chance for you yeah. to fuck over me if I'm just staying here and being yeah. broke. Why wouldn't but you, you do that show... with 50-50. Oh, well, let's do 50-50 then. <laughs> oh, <laughs> see, see nah. my, I was once married and yeah. my husband wanted me to, he always said, you can sit at home, you can sit at home. He yeah. got the money enough to pay all the bills and cover everything, mm-hmm. but no, I'm going to, for one, I'm used to working, so I'm not sitting in the house, period. That's yeah. just not what I'm doing. I'm I'm just disciplined to go to mm-hmm. work. So, mm-hmm. but he understood that after trying to get me to sit at home so long. Right. I'm not sitting at home, but I'm still able to take care of everything now. You're still going to have to help me whether, I you know, work. like, because I ain't going to be able to do everything and still work a full-time job. Like, mm-hmm. I'm not going to be able to do that and I'm a mama. So, no, yeah. you're going to have to help, but I don't want you to help if, you know what I'm saying? But, like, help me out if I'm slacking somewhere, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. All okay, right, so let me ask, what comes with giving a hundred percent like what what happens after that like what does she do for me just in my personal i mean i mean what do you do for her right besides because a lot of paying the bills then what because she still needs a lot of men let me say this a lot of men and niggas feel like because they pay all the bills yeah i I can do whatever the fuck i I want to because i pay all the bills hold on you mean you mean like Fucking off, or you talking just about like anything, just, just, just whatever. fucking off, whatever you feel like. Walking I, that motherfucker listen, you want to. a lot of men feel like they can do whatever because right. they take care of the household. Mm-hmm. So yeah, I need to know, like, you paying one hundred percent. What else? <laughs> like, what comes <laughs> yeah, behind but, it? But I'm saying, like, what does she do? Okay, she don't go to work. You pay everything. What the, What the fuck does she do about money? She gotta come and ask you for that. Mm. So she, she gonna be on a bank she account. Have, she have on so bank you, account. You Pay wanna her give allowance. her allowance? Not necessarily. She, so how's she gonna? It's a joint account. 
No. So she can go in there and get it. Whenever she wants, she don't need to speak to you about it or nothing. Yeah. Uh-oh. Just like I got to speak to if I want to go. If I see, damn, that Camaro clean is a bitch. No, I'm not I gotta, saying like I got to have a purchase. conversation. You talking about not like groceries? Just, no, fuck groceries. Just something go for on. herself. I yeah. feel as if you on a, if you on point with your partner, it's understood what we need. That's taken care of first and foremost. Mm-hmm. We go on vacations and shit together. It's, we're, we're, we're one. So it's like... I feel like in, to be in that position, you got to trust the man. It, that's, how, that's just how I view it. Like, so <clears throat> I get what you're saying, mm-hmm. but at the same time, like, you got to have some trust in that man. Because honestly, you got to think about the divorce court. You got to think about what goes on on the side of a man if shit go wrong. But no, it's like, like it's, it's giving you another gun, basically. No, like what, I'm still trying. Like what? <clears throat> Because so you, you need what money to survive. Like they right. they live and you need money. Right. So like, how would your woman? Live? A joint bank account. So she said she can go in there and get what she needs. Yeah, she can get what she needs. Mm. But I'm, if I see you going to go buy a five thousand dollar purse, you don't need that hoe. I'm gonna be like, what's going on? You should hey, talk to me if, about it. What if the bills are paid and everything? <laughs> and that's straight. what she wants. We, what we trying to do? Because nigga like me, I'm frugal, so I don't spend money like that. So my wife gonna have to be frugal. Sure, yeah. oh, so that's what I'm saying. Have to match you for sure. Right. Yeah, that's yeah, what I'm saying. Yeah, it's, yeah. So it's like we are gonna have to match personalities. We gonna have to look at shit the same. Like I, say, it go I wouldn't pick a woman that would have a problem with. it. Yeah, it go back to the team. Knowing your person, your partner. Yeah, Yeah, you got to know your partner. That's that's true. Yeah. I I feel like every woman should have their own source of income. Whether you're going to work, whether you're working from home, every woman should cover their they should be able to cover their ass. Cause when I was still going to work, my money was my money. You know what I'm saying? But then boom, something happened. Like in the in a blink of an eye, like literally happened Mm -hmm. in the blink of an eye, and I'm I'm stuck by myself. Now I have to figure all this out. And I was able to do that. Then nothing stopped. Everything, no, no cable got okay. cut out. No lights got yeah. cut out because I, I had to just, I got money put up. So now I got to just start, you know what I'm saying? Moving like a single woman. And see, that's what CJ said. Me and him kind of differ because I'm married now. So my wife feel the same way. She feel like, look, even if you was making 100000 a month, I still want to work, one, because I love what I do, and two, because I want my own money just in case something and go bad. Right. And like I said, I, I, I'm with y'all on, on kind yeah. of that. Yeah. Um, so, <laughs> I guess he's very rare. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I, I don't got no... Like, I Would don't, that be a deal breaker like what, for, for your, in your work? relationship? I mean, not necessarily. Like, this is how I feel about it. If, if you're going to work, mm-hmm. that's cool. But you're gonna put something on this bill too. That's, what, that's how I feel about so it. So that's a stipulation. If you're working, yeah. you need to pay a bill. Yeah, like and, and I'm no. not even saying 50-50. No. I'm not, like I'm not saying 50-50. I can yeah. do 75. Let, let's say I'm taking care of the mortgage. I'm taking care of the insurance. I'm taking care of the lights. You can take care of the, the cable bill, the Wi-Fi bill. Right, yeah. Talking. So does that come with marriage or in a relationship? Marriage. I mean, I, like I I've done shacking up before. I've been married before. My personal preference, I'm not moving in with a woman until I'm married. So, Me too. Like, that's just, I Me just, too. I, I feel you. It's too much to learn. Yeah. You, know, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. But how do you know yeah. a person if you don't, you know what I'm saying? Like, how the fuck do you know y'all can coexist in the same space if you don't coexist? Spend the night. Like, like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know we're we're going like, to figure it out. We're going to figure it out. I, I feel you. Because yeah. I've been, like I said, we've been married. But yeah. I definitely don't want no man. And I got kids. So, yeah. I don't want no man living with me. I just don't. Like, yeah. I feel, and then like, being a wife or being a girlfriend is like a it's a job. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like it's not it's a, a slave. Yeah, you yeah. got to do yeah. your shit. You yeah. got to make sure. So yeah. today I don't feel like being a wife or a girlfriend. Bitch, I can stay at home and yeah. wiggle my toes on the couch. I ain't got to worry about did you watch yeah. the clock? Did you I ain't got to worry about none of this shit because I'm in my own space. So I don't want us to live together until we're... So, so See, I gotta follow right there. Oh, I, I gotta follow Amber, right? Yeah. More on it. Because I'm the same way. If I don't live with you first. Cause that shit can change, like, but it can change that, whether we but, whether we live together. Or but not. I, I guess for but me, it can stop you. Yeah, it can stop you if, from if, getting to marriage. This, this, if you fuck my bad. No, ahead. no, no, go, no, no, go ahead. It can stop you from getting to marriage if y'all can't even fucking coexist just in a relationship because it's not gonna get better. But, but no, but no, like, what's the difference? Like, if we're dating, <clears throat> we're dating. I yeah. don't. We don't have to live okay, together. Okay, so that's what I'm saying. Today, so. But, Go ahead. Like Go you ahead. said, like you don't feel like you don't want to be a you don't want to be a girlfriend today. You don't want to wash clothes today. You don't want to cook today. You don't want to mm-hmm. clean up today. Right. You can feel those same ways being married. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So therefore, mm-hmm. I need to know that this how the fuck you feel before right. we get married. Because I do need you to be my husband exactly. every day. I need you to if my right. shit fuck up and I call on you, I need you to be able to go outside and do what the fuck I'm asking you. You can't tell me you don't feel like doing this. You don't but want a the, husband today and, or whatever. Like and, no. and speaking of that, like you said, if we dating and you come over and spend the night a couple of days. 
you might watch cold for them two days. But is you gonna do it through the rest of the week? But do you know how or many marriages do... go like that? Like they they come in strong, like good, perfect, and but, then years of being together, 15, 20, 30 years of being together. I'm not gonna be this thing. I'm not, I'm not here not to gonna... say. I'm not here to say it's wrong. Right. Right. Yeah. I'm not. Yeah. It's just my personal preference. If I'm gonna live in the house with a woman. We are gonna I, have I to have some to, ties. I gotta like, know you in the daylight. Some shit that matter. And, and motherfucker. But then nighttime. like I, <laughs> it's kind of contradicting on us because it's like. Niggas, they can show you this person, this perfect person, up until marriage, even after some couple of years after marriage. So then, it's boom, no like, like, it's like, yeah, it's no, you do, yeah, damn, damn, if you don't, you gotta take a risk regardless. You gotta take a risk. I yeah. would definitely prefer, like, I need to know because it's just some shit you can't fake. It's some shit you can't front. Like, right. I can be around you months. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. If you, your inside gonna come out eventually, but if I spend a night over here a week, then I go home four, five days, yeah. you got time to regroup. You got time to get your shit back together and I come back and you be this same nigga. Yeah. Man, we, and that right. shit gonna show some shit. Yep. You ain't talking about a motherfucking thing. I don't that know. shit gonna show. So how, okay, how long, you, how, you, how long you need to live know. with a person for you to know? I mean, yeah, I don't think you can put a time stamp yeah, on it because so. it's, it's going to show. Like, so if you don't need a time stamp, why you need to live together? It's like, I don't no, get because, that. Because for me, it's because I get to see it before I commit to yeah, it. Yeah, big difference. Because <laughs> you you know the you know one of my situations right. with one of my ex. Yeah, one of them. We live together. And like I said, like I was telling Amber, like for the first couple of nights she was over there, mm-hmm. it was cool. Like she washing, yeah. cooking, everything. On command, mm-hmm. all that. Yeah. She was doing yeah. what she knew you was going to like. Exactly. Right. When right. right. she got right. back into her habitat, we, right. what she used to. Week number, week uh, number three, okay. four. I, I see what y'all saying. Yeah, I get man. it. I get your point. I, I, get, I get your it. point. I just think everybody, that's like a. It's a team oh, thing. Like yeah. you said, yeah. you got to know the person that you with. Yeah. And y'all exactly. figure it out for y'all. You got to do what's best for you. Exactly. But exactly. do what's yeah. best for me <laughs> and my household. Hey, we're going <laughs> we to live together, bitch, because I need to see your crazy Fact. ass so, going on. Like, that's a good transition. So what are y'all views on marriage? Like the necessity of it? What you want out of it? What are y'all views on it? Do you even want to be married? Yeah. I do. I do. I ain't going to say it like I do. And I hate a lot of people that say, I don't want to be yeah. I do because I'm I'm a fairy tale type of person anyway, but I know she ain't always gonna be fairy right tale, at all. Just in a marriage, um, you, for one, you know you want some stability. You want mm-hmm. that for sure. Mm-hmm. I want my person to be like transparent as fuck. Yeah. You know what I'm talking about like like all the way. Like all the way. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like they say they want it. Huh? <laughs> I ain't, I ain't met one you, yet. But if you if you give it, if you not finna fuck over me, then you yeah. I can see what's up. Right? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? If it's right. some shit you trying to hide, of course you're not gonna let me see. So yeah, yeah. be transparent because let me see that. Let me know if I need to roll or I need the motherfucking stay. You know what I'm talking about? So you like me, man. You like your answers up front. Yeah, yeah. I need, I need I let me pick be, what I want to deal yeah. with. I yeah. need us to be equally yoked mm. like this. Meaning we well, the, let's get we into got, I, ooh, we got go. the we got to yeah. have some of the same beliefs. You know okay. what I'm saying? Like I can't believe in God and you believe in nothing. You right. know what I'm saying? Right. Like right. I need us mm-hmm. to be stability. I need mm-hmm. us to have like financial stability and emotional stability. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah. a lot of men and women lacked it. You know what I'm <laughs> saying? Right. So I, come here. I, I need that. First and I grew come up, healed. <laughs> right, come please, come healed. Yeah. Come healed first. But I grew up, to fix people. No. I grew up I around like what a marriage is supposed to be. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I, I see my the my aunties and my mom and them like, damn, I want that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I see how these so men grew up seeing it. love their wife. Like yeah. they rip the men in my family. I don't know what these niggas do behind closed doors, but like <laughs> how they present it and how they show like these niggas, these men love their wife and they mm-hmm. wife love them and they value on family. Like they they big on family. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's 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 amazing to me. My auntie yeah. and my uncle been married. My auntie, yeah, my auntie and my uncle been married like 40 some years. Mm. She's never had sex with nobody. Mm. Nobody. Oh, wow, that was a version. Her husband. They have yeah. a real fairy tale. Like, yeah. and when you grow up around that, you be like, you I got the but, but then you see this shit that we dealing with. Like, different. it's been a whole damn, like, damn, damn near climate change type of <laughs> shit yeah. when it comes to relationships. Like, this shit just so different. But, yeah, you, just, but you when you want grow your up husband, seeing it, husband. it's like, no, it's real. Like, this, and that's what I want. So, yeah. I'm gonna just. Hold out until I get so there. So when you say equally yo, does that include finances? Yep. You want, so you want a man. You want a man to make. No, not. Okay. I need okay. you to be financially literate. Okay. So we don't. You don't have to even stable too. Yeah. Literate. You don't have to have like. You ain't got to be rich, but I mm-hmm. do need. I want my man to have more than me, so you can show me some shit. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? I don't want to fuck with no. I just. I'm, Come on, man. I'm not fucking with no broke ass nigga. You know what I'm saying? What's broke? A nigga that ain't got shit. 
A nigga that don't have nothing, no, no car, no job, no, no ambition, no that's, nothing, that's, no that's, nothing. Let's, let's, get, let's get into it. Let's get into All it. All that type of shit. Who nobody wants that? Wants that. A man, a dude younger, get, a dude get mad though. at me. <laughs> and Colin Steph stopped talking to me because I told, like, I don't want no broke ass nigga. Right. But when he came back around and he was like, I was like, you shouldn't want no broke ass bitch. You get money. You shouldn't want no broke bombing ass bitch. He we was like, damn, same, you know what? You right. You a bitch that don't. can't never we, do we nothing for you. We don't look at that the same. Yeah, because y'all can fix y'all bitches up. Y'all, y'all can make y'all can make y'all broke bitch look like mm-hmm. worth more. Or not even nah, bitch. Nah, you, uh, can, you can fix her up and, and make her look like her. something. No, not even make her look like something. Just change her whole everything. Period, like her way of thinking, just everything helped that bitch out. Type nah, of we shit. we talking about more on the financial side, like for us, like, like we because y'all, like, how, how much money y'all spend on men? Seriously, like I, y'all do stuff, I, but it ain't it ain't, it ain't it ain't it ain't the view. All right, it's look, right. you ever heard a man? Oh, well, hold on, let me let me make sure I capitalize, <laughs> man. How many men? I'm specifically saying men. Have you said I want to meet a woman that can pay all the bills? I what y'all? Uh, nah, it's true. a different. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, it's a yeah. different mindset. You hear plenty of women say, it, and I understand it. It's like you know what? That's a great it's way to segue to another point: the it's double man. standard conversation. We had, Ooh, a, double we had uh-huh. that a couple of times. Yeah, I liked that. That was interesting. Oh, okay. So, what what's the biggest double standard that that bothers you as a woman? Is women that, that y'all can fuck a thousand bitches. <laughs> It don't yeah. bother me. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's the I biggest double shit. standard, but I don't give a fuck that's about the biggest it. That's Oh, yeah, you got the not curve for sure. Yeah, but it, it's annoying as shit. Like, y'all but can that's do, the biggest one. Y'all, y'all can do y'all. all that, mm-hmm. you know, and as soon as we do it, then we're sluts and hoes mm-hmm. and prostitutes. <laughs> well, I think one of y'all said something when y'all were talking about that is. You don't if know you verbatim, don't, we just quote Right. Okay, go ahead. If you don't know, you don't know. Like I'm not gonna answer oh, your I body count. I say that. You, I, th- I yeah, say that all the time. If you don't know, you don't know. I get that, but I think. Do you think my mind said it's supposed to change if I find out? Let's say. Find out by what? If you done smash one of my homeboys. Okay. We'll I ain't know. I ain't <laughs> know nothing about this beforehand. Mm-hmm. Am I supposed to stay committed to you after I find that? I out? mean, how deep are we now? Yeah, you got the pussy. How deep are we now? Is this a in one month, not, two months type of shit? Not married, days. but serious. All right, then, so fuck that. We, I didn't know you. Why would and, and, and I didn't know y'all knew each other when we got together, so why, why do you matter? care? And right. who brought that up to you? Who, who told the, you that? That's the thing. Is it a, is it a, a, a mentality switch for the guy? You yeah. don't think that'll affect him? I think it do, yeah. it Because a lot of men's man, egos are very man. fragile, so anything will fuck you y'all always say that? Because it is. It is, very. Y'all, y'all don't want shit, because y'all no, don't let me want stick to nothing that... Let me stick to that. <laughs> Anybody, I'm just saying, y'all don't want nothing that y'all feel like anybody can fuck. Facts. You know what I'm saying? Agreed. With y'all woman, Facts. with y'all woman, y'all, this a trophy. Yeah. This right. a trophy right. for y'all. So therefore, the pussy it my is. House. So if, I if, y'all, my if, house. A, if a nigga can come to y'all and tell y'all, hey, I took that down, yeah. they fuck with y'all a little bit. Yeah. They finna yeah. stroke so y'all ego. That's yeah. how it is fragile. So yeah, you gotta walk like so. Yeah. Hey, so but, but we can deal with the hoes that mm-hmm. done child. You know what I'm saying? Like, okay, bitch. Because so she hit y'all, y'all inbox like... First of all, y'all ain't fucking us. We fucking y'all. Mm, Some going like in you. Another you double get, standard. Right. Because, you that's got, a fact. That ain't a true. standard. That's a it's fact. Getting, but okay. Okay. That ain't what, true. We, we can't argue with it. We got pH balances and shit. Right. right now. We take okay. a shower and watch this shit. Y'all do got pH balance. So we don't. Y'all would have had that shit balanced. Y'all but drink some water. Drink plenty. Drink, of eat some fruit. Yeah, and but go ahead. But go ahead. What you about to say? I'm just saying. I get why women have a problem when people say that men can fuck like crazy and women can't. Mm-hmm. Me personally, I don't believe either one should do it. Mm-hmm. But I right. am saying it's a difference. What's like, difference? okay, put it like this. Because we held to high standard. We shouldn't do that because our bodies are precious. Yeah. You don't think so? <laughs> so, what that, y'all why, why y'all use that example? Oh, you like use that, y'all precious. use that argument when a nigga trying to fuck. I just can't give it to you because it's precious. I don't use that shit because if I want to give it to you, I'm going to give it to you. Never, never. If I want to fuck you, I'm going to fuck you. I don't. I'm my pussy precious. Like, I ain't fucking you. You're going to know. Plus, you're getting it. I don't got to give you a story of why I don't want to give it to you. If I'm here with you, for one, it's like, we fucking. I'm probably going to give it to you any motherfucker. Right, right, right. But I don't got to give you no rundown about my shit. This man, I'm giving this to you. All right, we'll just say we'll just say y'all uh, statistical anomaly. We y'all just new to the world. Okay, because in the world we grew up in, what we went through, we had to work to get the pussy. Yeah, and it was like you got to earn it. Yeah, yeah. I have now, never told a woman you got to earn a dick. <laughs> Men don't move y'all that open way. This fuck. No, y'all because we want to fuck. Y'all a hot dog. We want to fuck. I'm telling we, you, it's, you it's, can. We, we move different. Nigga. How many niggas you, you can got down on versus how many women a man got down on? It's the number ain't close. Shit. 
Shit. Like, where you been at? The, the, the time I ain't say, has changed. It's changed, but the number ain't the Man, same. I know some aggressive. The women to me are way more aggressive than the niggas now. They they get they I'm they walking up. What's up, nigga? I want to fuck. What are you saying? They way more aggressive Ooh. now. So it's happening. I, yeah. I ain't saying like, it's not but happening. But it's almost tip and tack to no. me. No, uh-uh, nah. no. Y'all, y'all, y'all get. You maybe know why? I just hang around with some retard. I done seen some shit before <laughs> in my life because I know like it's that just, shit I'm has changed. You, it's different. It's it's different because if we want to fuck with you. Then oh we're not gonna say us anyway, with me anyway. Mm-hmm. I'm not gonna say, I'm not gonna come up to you and be like, hey, I wanna fuck. I'm just yeah. gonna make sure that you, you know. see me. Yeah. You know right. what I'm saying? Right. And then I got it from there. You know what yeah. I'm saying? It don't even gotta probably be too much that you gotta tell me. You know what I'm saying? Because right. I already set up in my fucking mind what I'm gonna do. I saw right. this is right. what I wanna do, but. You know. So you think men and women are equal? In what way? Yeah, I mean, as far as in what? General. As far as oh what? yeah, general. I feel like if yeah. I cut you, you, you gonna bleed, bleed. just you like if you right, cut we're me. Equal. We're equal. As fuck. Well, What's no, what I think we're probably we probably weigh a little bit more than y'all because we, we give birth. Get, yeah, period. So no, we're not equal. You're right. So you talking about like so? The I reason asked you what the fuck y'all talking about? The y'all. reason why we bring that up <laughs> because you know what I'm saying we look at how we see in sports and stuff like that how. Now they want men and women to be in the same leagues. They want men and women. Because women can get up with men. Yeah, they and think they that. I don't, I don't think and that's true. Fans, no, true. no, definitely not. Like, in some shit, we know we can't be child. Be child. You know what I'm saying? We we know this, so we know where to stay in our lane. So y'all think y'all can win in the fucking game? Like, I can fuck whoever I want. And a man, like, like a man, you think you win in that situation? Wait, what? Do you think you win in a situation? It basically, wasn't... from a mentality standpoint. So... <laughs> You know how men, we, we run through a lot of women. That's what they say, right? Y'all think women can do that and be fine, just like a man would be fine. They do that. Well, why wouldn't they be? Because the way your body is and how you affected by well, dick. Mm-hmm. You don't have a woman's body, so how the fuck you know yeah. how to put it in Because I fucked the woman's dick. body. You That's how probably, I know. You just you fucked just, it, though, for that little in, period of time. Mean you don't know. Out because she fucked like that. You right. know what I'm saying? That, and it's so tell many. y'all this. Fucking don't fuck your pussy up. Let's just... <laughs> Please. No, I wasn't talking. I wasn't talking about fuck your pussy. I'm talking about your head. Yeah, the emotions. I'm talking about your head. I, I feel like if you can jump from bed to bed, it's some fuck. You fucked up mentally anyway. Like you can have this part and this part and this part. Like if you can just fuck like that, you need to go seek help because <laughs> ain't no normal person fucking like. You must be a nympho or something to be like. You know what I'm saying? They definitely out here too. Yeah, they running, out here too. But like, like men running through women. Like and a, women a, running through. That's, it's, it's I mean, that's a race I don't even want to be in. Right, I don't even want to be in that shit. You know what? That probably make y'all that, cool. Y'all can have it, that. It, it, it ain't that we up. in a competition. That, that ain't what I'm trying to say. It's like that's, <laughs> but I think, that, I, like, that's I naturally how men move. Yeah, I know some hoes. Yeah, 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 I, know some hoes yeah, yeah fuck I do. <laughs> you can out fuck the So what is the question? What was the question? You step outside the house. I'm gonna tell you the difference. You step outside the house and you say, "I want some dick." How many people gonna come up to you and say, "I got it for you"? How many niggas can I text right now to say that? And they're going to be lined up yeah, outside. Okay. So don't use oh, a better, I'm, a better I'm, I'm, I'm going like to come back with the flip side of it. Go ahead. It. You can do that. You can get dick whenever you want. On demand. On demand. Right, on demand. Like motherfucking. On demand. You can yeah, door dash you, the I'm shit. Saying, I'm saying I'm getting it. Yeah. Definitely right. door dash dick. You can, but <laughs> in the sense that if a man had that powerful, we would abuse the fuck out of it. No, no, We don't. No, we ain't got that power. We don't. To just say... Hey, I'm coming outside. Who wants some dick? Man, and we have the same. Y'all, y'all know, know the call to get the Y'all that's know the, the, y'all know the head, mom. That's, that's the difference. How we get the freak? That's the difference. She, you, she well, did if y'all don't know, you, then this may be something that you guys probably need to fix with y'all. Because it's niggas out here that know what a pussy is. They know what hold the call to get it. You know what I'm saying? Nobody's going to walk outside and like, hey, let me At fuck. random, women can step out the house. Random. You don't think me? No, no, we, we gotta get the same. We can we do it. We're gonna get the same. We're not gonna get the same success, right? What right. Y'all what y'all, what y'all, what y'all, y'all mean? If work. I step out the house and say, "I want some pussy," who gonna give it to me? But you know what? The police think... gonna call. I'm, first of all, I'm going to jail. Don't show you no. something else. I, so, so, no, so, no, let me tell y'all this. I think where we kind of getting like it, you know, confused a little bit. I think y'all may be good guys, and y'all may approach women differently. You know what I'm saying? Because. I know some dog ass niggas. It. Hold You're up. I know it. some dog ass niggas that can, hey, I'm finna go fuck this bitch at 12. I'm finna go fuck this bitch at 3. I'm finna go fuck this bitch at 5. Like, I, I think this that was shit probably maybe went over so, my head. Yeah, because so, I'm It was so, an example. Because I know, look, I, I got I, I got them in my phone right now. Hey, I know who they is, but what I'm saying is, if this is a scenario, this is not real life, but this but is a you, scenario. You got to but use I'm, like the, real life shit you that don't, happens. You don't, because it, it still, it still is the point that <laughs> you can get. Who the fuck walks outside? 
said, hey, I want fuck. You, you get <laughs> lost in the example and not understanding what I'm saying. Hold on. So, so, I need you to understand what I'm saying. Say so let me let me, let me let me break it down. So you go in your you look in your inbox right now. How many niggas trying to fuck? And yo, if you open your inbox right now, how many niggas you got in a here? year? In your man, probably every last one on both. They conversation is not going to start out and say, "Hey, I want to." Of fuck. course, but when niggas hit yeah. your inbox, that's you what y'all want to do. Y'all yeah. coming for the pussy? Y'all right. ain't coming for. Oh, you think I'm a very fucking smart girl? Right, definitely but, don't. But think the that. difference for us is not even just me and CJ, men and period. It ain't a bunch of women knocking down our no trying to fuck. It happens. It happens. It, it ha- it, but it's it, it not a popping. We got to be popping okay. to have it. Okay. You have dick on demand. But you just be a look. You got a little ass, and you gonna have a hundred suitors trying to fuck. So it's not the same that? for me. Some um, y'all need to get y'all shit together then, because the men fuck. <laughs> nah, as, as men, we <laughs> we hungry. It's so easy. We know we trying to. Like CJ said, if if it's the goal difference. is to fuck. We got to put in the effort and the work to get to that point. Mm-hmm. What we saying is y'all don't have to put in that same effort. To so get, for okay. us. And, and the fact okay. that you don't have to lets us know we're different. Right. Because we I, trying now to Now that it. I can understand. Yeah. See, you were saying it wrong. Saying I, I get I like we, had, we just had to break it down in a different yeah. scenario. I get, I get what yeah. you're saying. I yeah, definitely yeah, yeah. get what y'all saying. So that's why so, we think it's a difference between what men and women do. And it's like, that's why we say women cannot fuck like men. They don't even want to. You have conversations like... All right, I, a man to come to a woman and be like, his woman, let's say his woman. And he'd be like, I want a threesome. Or I want to go fuck another bitch, right? What's the first response most women going to have? Well, can I fuck another nigga? But you didn't come to me with that. It's, it lets you know it's a difference in mentality. Niggas want to fuck other bitches. Women ain't necessarily <laughs> like that. Right. We definitely <laughs> right. But, but y'all ain't necessarily another. like that. That's how you know it's a difference. That's what I'm saying. Okay, you okay can't yeah, so y'all got like us by mile markers. Yeah. yeah, that's exactly. cool, and we'll I'll lose that battle. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, it's not at all. We, we just, just trying to get some understanding. We don't even want to be in the race. You know, one <laughs> thing we didn't do, one thing we didn't do at the beginning is is kind of tell you why we started doing this, right? Okay, go the ahead. The main reason we did this is because we wanted to end the battle of the sexes in general, but <laughs> especially between black men and black mm-hmm. women, because it's it's a big divide there. So mm-hmm. we say, okay, I know we're gonna say shit people don't like, right? But it's the truth. Like we ain't saying it to you. Most of the time, we saying this in the barbershop. We right. saying it with my nigga dope and shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm-hmm. that's how we moving. So we say, okay, if we can get out here and, and give our perspective and then have on women. We knew that we have different viewpoints. Mm-hmm. We wanted y'all for that specific mm-hmm. reason. Because yeah. it was like, we want to kind of find a way to meet in the middle. So right. that's why we do what we do. Like right now, I feel like black men mm-hmm. are like black women's biggest hater. Like mm-hmm. right now, like I Definitely. feel like nobody hates black women more, more than, than black, black men. men. Mm-hmm. So, and this shit is up. That's you know a perfect that? segue Let's go. to the next question. Why y'all hate Kevin Samuels? Because he's a clown. He's a, a black man clown. that hates black he, women. And, and if he and he was never <laughs> when he came out, it was strictly to this black women. That's Period. Sad. Black. It was That's never sad. his his first. He was he clicked as soon as he came out. So <clears throat> we felt we had to defend ourselves against this nigga. Like it was never nothing good. One person that ever been, and I haven't even watched anything he had, but I just see clips because right. he irked me so bad. But it's never not one good thing that this man has said. Y'all probably can't even pull up one good thing that this man he, has he said, said about. He black said women. something what? one time about a, a female. Like if they're cute, he's gonna okay that, it, and it's just, real random. Other, it, that like. Mm. So what is there to like about him? So, a man that degrades what is there to like women? about him? So I think this one of the things that we hear a lot with men and women, we always go to y'all say y'all seen clips. But if you actually watch a full episode, I've it's watched more, a full episode. He hates, I don't believe he hate black women. Now let me make this clear to the people at home and to the people listening. The Five One Hundred Podcast ain't Kevin Samuel Dick Rider. At all. Mm-hmm. We we take some of the stuff he say and we know it's true as men. But we don't agree with everything he say. Mm-hmm. Right. But what I will say, some of the criticism that he have are valid. And you got to look at it, too. He also speak for high value men, men that's making a hundred. They, he he classic. See, that's why I said, if you watch a full episode, he got a full I'm... breakdown of what his identity of a high value man is. And basically, <laughs> just to make it simple, you know when what I'm saying? When did men get labels? <laughs> like, when did that shit start happening? I think, you know I think, what, I think, I think what it was, I think... This is what I think his point of doing it was. You know how in, in certain situations, women will say, I want a man that make money. Mm-hmm. Right. So a lot of women say they want a man that make money, mm-hmm. which means he a commodity. He's rare. Because, I mean, what? 
the average income for men, period, is fifty thousand dollars a year. That's cool, but that ain't a lot of money. Mm-hmm. So if I'm making a hundred thousand, I'm at a higher value because mm-hmm. more women want men with money. That was the mm-hmm. idea behind why he did what he did. So I don't necessarily agree with everything he say about it, but that was a point that he knew he was gonna get women to bite on. It's entertainment <laughs> he, at the same at the, inter, at he the end knew of the day. What to say to to come out like? Probably don't even believe half the shit he say. Right, Any and he, fucking he's probably way. not living up the, to that. The, 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 the women that he huh. bash, like the way he come out, like what I get, the women that he bash. What's bashing? Let's get into that. What, what like okay. what is bashing? I, I know like the some grand. women call and just to be like, if they, if they tell this man they got three or more kids, oh, they it's instantly knock them out. They like, bitch, you're right. worth nothing after this. You got three kids. Neither one of your baby dads wants to stay with you. Ho, you're the problem, bitch. You're how old yeah. and you're not married yet. You haven't yeah. did this yet. Who the fuck are you to, to tell me? Tell me this. That Who, I ain't shit. What makes you this nigga or the high value man to even label me as that? You know what I'm saying? And to even tell me right. what I work because I got three kids or because I got whatever. What the fuck I don't get? You know right. what I'm saying? Who put you in this position to say that? Because believe it or not, it's a lot of have high value men that. Love women with kids. It's a lot of high value yeah. motherfucking women who got four and five motherfucking kids. kids. So what's the difference? You know what I'm saying? Long as I feel like long as they are taken care of, why what the should fuck you care? I can have however many I want to. So I think I, I me personally, I speak for myself, and I know this is gonna give me heat, but I didn't say it on the podcast. Go ahead. If my wife passed away, I ain't never dating another single mother or baby mama. I didn't date them, I didn't have the experiences. It's nothing against baby mama, that's just my preference. And I think I, where people get, I'm not to interrupt you, but I think where people get lost, even with his point, right, is that he's not saying don't nobody want you. Right. What he's saying, it's like, okay, I've I dealt, <laughs> I definitely dealt with single women, yeah. right? single single mothers. And one thing that you realize is that her time's short. Yeah. And it's like, that's not her fault. She got kids, but her time's short. And, and let's say it's short. <laughs> it's shorter than a woman that ain't got kids. Right. Let's just, for, let's just say this woman here don't got kids, this Come woman on. do. It's a difference, <laughs> and then on, y'all shaking on. y'all head, but it's like y'all don't date. Single that ain't mothers. true because, y'all, but we are single, single mothers. mothers. Y'all basing that shit off. I'm gonna tell you something. I got four kids, mm-hmm. and if it was any nigga that I wanted to be around, it's gonna I'm happen. gonna make time for that nigga. It's so any woman it. that y'all pursue, you're gonna with have to kids, make time for anything. That lady didn't want to be around. You ain't talking about shit. That lady didn't want to be around. She didn't want to say she. But you, you got kids. I do. I got a son. All right. So you, you said, got kids. Okay. We ain't. We hope this don't happen no time soon. If your wife passes away. I date any no woman with kids. Mm-hmm. So <laughs> you come with kids. Mm-hmm. You come with kids. So yeah. you don't think that's gonna you don't think a motherfucker gonna be like, how you gonna ask me to not come with kids, but you come with kids? No, nah, because like you said, I use it as a preference. Just like a woman could say, I ain't gonna date a dude that don't have a car. Or don't have his own apartment, or don't that's, have a hundred thousand. That's a preference. Yeah. Okay, that's, I, like, that's a kid. A kid, a kid can be a preference. You you value it way more than I do. Right, it's your, it's baby, your baby. Course. Like I'm 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 a single father, and now I got some damn good custody now. Right, and when I have her, it's like this her time, y'all. I can't get up with you this weekend. Mm-hmm. It's like I I make I make. I try to make shit happen. You feel me? But for the most part, when I'm with my daughter, I'm just with my daughter. We were family, so it's like your time could show. It's just what it is. Like now, other fathers might move different where they don't give a damn, or they have you around, whatever. I'm not saying it's a problem. I'm saying it's a factor. Mm-hmm. So I'm saying some guys don't want to deal with that, and I don't understand why a man can say that and it's disrespectful it when saying, you can say because it's women say the same thing. They don't want a nigga with kids. I can understand that. You don't, don't have to have it. Don't have I don't. Kids. I don't. I don't want mine. I want mine to to come with kids. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Because if it get deep, we ain't I having no more kids. For one, we ain't having no more kids. Two. I need to know how you rock with your kids because well, that's gonna determine how you rock with mine. You even if he saying? even if he want another child, you won't have another. No, I'm at the gang, so we're gonna talk about that. Me, me and this new, if it get deep or before it get deep, hey, I'm not having no more children. Mm-hmm. If you the one for me, you already gonna know. You you gonna and, know and you are gonna be cool so, with it. And it's yeah, a preference, yeah, like you, you said. It's a preference. I prefer a nigga that don't want any more children. Gotcha. Mm. I prefer a nigga that got kids. You know right. what I'm saying? Because. How you know how to treat my kids? You don't have had the kids of your own. You know what Especially I'm saying? My kids going to irritate the fuck out of you because you have never been, been around, around kids, kids this fucking long. You know what I'm saying? So I prefer man to come with now, kids. Now, me and him both had this conversation. I don't have a problem with dating single mothers. Like, like I, I'm selective now. You mm-hmm. feel me? Of course, I, I, I like I, I look at Because I look at it like, okay, if I'm going <laughs> to date this woman, she got to be a woman that my daughter can see as a mother figure. Right. You know what I'm saying? Definitely. So I definitely, I'm very selective about that. However... I understand his point of view because I've dated the single mothers. You know what I'm saying? But I think that 
if we can understand each other's preferences and watch how we say it. Like, you can't. This is where Kevin Samuel was, has a problem, mm-hmm. where he'll say it in such a way, it's like, and, and it's like, it just can't happen. Heals everything. Yeah, it's like, yeah, it, it, and it doesn't work. Women, whether you like it or not, women are, they're very in tune with their feelings. You can't say a woman need to be super logical. They not that. Yeah, like, it's like, that's right. the reality. Period. Right. Period. Yeah. Period. We're not. Like, yeah. we are not. And, and he, he just like, I don't watch this in the, this <laughs> shit. And some of this, I can be like, oh, okay, I can understand it. But like you said, his delivery is so yeah. off to it where it's like, yeah, nigga, who the fuck do you think you is? Because yeah. like, who are you? You know what yeah. I'm saying? Like, I have to not watch it because I, I don't. For you to get up here and try to, okay, you you may be making a point, but how you talking to this woman? Nigga, you came it's from like a you woman. you hate her. This right. Comes like he but it's a lot of women. Kevin Samuels, you know what I'm saying, yeah. on social media for sure. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. That that degrades women, period. Do you know what I'm saying? Men to have he that's, what he yeah. that's what he started with. That he but he was doing that getting, for years. Right, and he wasn't getting and no nobody views. gave a damn. And guess what? He knew soon. He, a woman. Soon and that's what I'm saying. He probably don't woman. even feel that way at heart. That man probably don't feel the way he used us to come out. It's always extra on the mic. You know what I'm saying? Not with us. Right, just be real because he's going to be respected. But y'all said the same thing on one of y'all podcasts, which is I could be putting on this act in front of y'all, but when I leave the camera, I'm a different person. Mm-hmm. And that's one of the things me and CJ talked about. Yeah. When we get out these fucking mics, we the same guy. When we hop in that car, when we in the, with our kids, mm-hmm. when we with hooping, whatever, we the same guy. So I'm, I feel you on that, but at the same time, we in a game where it's entertainment. Yeah. Right. And, and let me ask y'all a question. And no. real is entertaining too. Right. Right. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. So let me ask you a question. Because I heard you say oh. you came from a woman. Mm-hmm. Right. Mm-hmm. Why is there no energy for when a woman, when black women are talking bad about black men, which has been happening for generations, like Oprah show, you know what I'm saying, Donahue, goddamn Dr. What Phil. Oprah where they, say, what Oprah say about black Oprah women? Oprah been black talking men. bad about black what? women. She probably, she don't like them. I'm not saying she, <laughs> she right, right, right too. We ain't saying she she was like me. It ain't, the argument ain't man. the argument ain't that she can't do it. Is mm-hmm. that nobody says, "Well, you came from a black nutsack. Why are you doing that? You came from a black man." That nobody I says hear, that. I do hear people say that though. Oh, I, what? Do, I do hear people say that. I gotta probably, take my hat off. Stop the cap much, now. Probably not Stop as the cap. much. Yeah, no word. Probably not as much. But I'd have heard it before. But but see how you gotta say heard it before. Right, we heard it all the time. Right, and not only that, like you said, it's the. The backlash that Kevin Samuels get and the manosphere get. Let's say gotta, fuck, let's say fuck them. The backlash we, we get facts. for the, some of the opinions we have. And it's like, I was raised by y'all. I've had sex with y'all. My sisters is y'all. My my aunties is y'all. Don't nobody know y'all better than we. So why is you it if we so? have a no? You think white fact, men? I, know I mean, y'all I mean, I'm talking about in our I'm talking about, you yeah, know what I'm saying? Our, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. So it's like, I know y'all better. So why is it that now I do need to watch how I say it? I agree. But why is it that I can't have a criticism without being said I hate black women? Like no matter what you do, you can't have you yeah, can but, you can have an opinion. I mean, but if that's just all you say every time y'all get on this motherfucker, if this is all you say, that's black right. women, mm-hmm. black yeah. women, and then y'all say every time. Yes, we we're now we have to problem. go with what we see. Hey, yeah. you got a problem with black women because why right. you don't get on this motherfucker and speak about white, white women, women like that? Why right. don't get on this motherfucker and speak about black men like that? Why is yeah. black women always your target yeah. when you come on here? So, yeah, you got that's, a problem. that's why. You know what I'm Just saying? like but, if we see a nigga right. all the time arguing on Facebook or we social do. media with women. I see oh, you hate like, you hate women. That's I see just the bottom line. Every day, make statuses about women every fucking day. Yeah. Every I'm like, day. dude, just go get you a fucking man because you hate <laughs> women. Just go get you a dude because I think you that, that frustration. That yeah, I think that's well, another. don't take it out on a, why does why do why are you taking it out on say black women? women? Then. Say it, do in general women, but, but that's these the, niggas say black. Like, but see that that's most of who we date. We right. in a box. And 80% then, of men married black men married to black man, women. But, but white women do the same shit we do that, but they just let shit ride. Mom. But we don't interact with them. No, we don't. That's where the criticism Most of us from. deal with black women. Right. And that's right. A, that's and, to, and to even go further into that, like you said, yeah. men see the post too. Like men see the criticism too. Like when y'all say happy Father's Day to a, to a woman. That's so disrespectful, that's disrespectful to who I am as a black I, woman. I don't like that. Yeah, that yeah, I that's never funny. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Never but funny. you see how you're but, saying you don't you don't like that? Mm-hmm. That's the energy that some of the black men that make posts about black women have. They don't like it. And then it's like, if I say it, I got into it with my partner because he was telling his mama but happy father. I'm like, mm-hmm. bro, you understand that that's disrespectful to black men? We got into it about this shit. It's like black women are untouchable. Seriously. You can say it, but everybody got a problem with when we, we say it. We supposed to be. It seems like, like I mean, right. not untouchable like physical. Yes, but untouchable like, like we criticism. Yeah, we, we're not supposed to have a negative criticism. Right. A contradiction. 
What's the, what's the word? Contradicted. Contradicted. I don't think right. it becomes it's 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 past criticism once you keep speaking on the same it, shit right. over and over and over again. It's not criticism. But no, I, at some point, this shit is hate. But I think with Kevin, like you said, that's what built his audience. So he got to keep doing yeah. it. He'll be right. foolish if he stopped. Right. And, and I the think, entertain, it's entertainment too. Right. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So as far as him, He's that's how he make his money. I, it's like I, I I respect what he's doing. Like I understand why you would. I respect the hustle. I, I understand. No, I'm, saying, I'm saying from the a man's message. perspective oh, okay. because I know what he's talking about. Okay. Right. See, it's like I think women are not able to remove themselves from it for a while I have. and just see what it is. I like said, black I said men have they, experience with black women. I said I some of the shit. I I was like, oh, I get why he said it because right. like let's not even go there. But I get. Yeah, I, I can yeah. understand some of. Some of what he's saying, mm. how he's saying it, I don't yeah. understand it. So how I should don't. you say something that you're not gonna like? You, depending on what the person that you're talking to, because right. I may be just as gentle and kind and telling you, hey, I think that um, let's say your shoes are ugly. Not, mm-hmm. <laughs> I think yeah. your shoes are ugly. I ain't, I ain't really, I ain't really liking them. Just depending yeah. on the person that you is, yeah. you make your ears ain't. Yo, you may just have some fucked up ass. Right, or you just can't take you criticism take, yeah, at all. Yeah, you're taking right. it wrong. Or not even you know that. Yeah. You, you said, hey, I don't like your shoes versus them some fucking ugly, ugly ass shoes. Uh-huh. Right. Why the fuck you got and them? And you're always wearing these fucking stupid ass shoes. Then I get right back and I see you again and I tell you a fucking again. Hey, I hate those stupid ass shoes. You probably ain't got them shoes on again, but let me right. remind you that I hate those stupid right. ass fucking shoes. Okay, <laughs> I, I, I hear the example, right? But, you know, how did you learn your ABCs? By constantly it. being sold to you and constantly hearing it. Now, a man, there are men on, in the space that we listen in that we know for a fact that they have a strong dislike for black women. You could even say, hey, mm-hmm. I know who they are. Mm-hmm. I won't say their name, but I know who they are. But I've seen Kevin bring a, a slow woman on him. Like she was slow as a motherfucker. He took his time and broke down his points. Some of that shit is entertainment, but I think a lot of his ideas, when he get past the you are a negative five at best. When he right. can pass all that shit, that's entertainment. When you actually hear what this man got to say about black men and black women building together, it's it's poignant. It's a strong message, but you got to get through the bullshit. Yeah. So I get what you're saying. Yeah. And that's one. Well, with him, he, I mean, one thing y'all kind of got confused is black men, men, period. Y'all can't tell us how to be women. Y'all can tell us what y'all like. Yeah. Y'all can, tell right. us, y'all can tell us what yeah. y'all like. Y'all Period. can tell us what y'all prefer. Yeah. But y'all can't tell us how, how to be, to be us. Oh, we right. are okay. already that. So y'all feel like that's what the message is instead of like criticism. It's more telling you how to, how be, to be a woman. Yeah, you he done, he he's, he said that before for sure. Like you far as they or because I don't, I get two or three, four, five kids, then I shouldn't do that. Uh, How you gonna mm-hmm. tell me what another nigga gonna like? On, I shouldn't have been thirty five. I shouldn't be thirty five and not married. By right? Now. Or, like you should have been ahead this by now. Yeah. Man, you can't. You can't, can't tell, tell a woman, a woman how, how, to how to be a, a woman. woman. You can't. Like, and, we can't and, tell y'all how to be a man. And I hate to say it, but like these men, you can't. I, I don't put nothing past the man either. Like this nigga may be all this shit and he get a, a high profile ass man. And guess what? He may like Becky with the ratchet pussy. You know what I'm saying? You know right. what I'm saying? And he may be ready to wife Becky with the ratchet pussy. Like, but, so you can't, how you going to tell me what another nigga going to like? You can't make him as a God. Right. Yeah. Right. That's you what I'm saying. You can't tell me that. He's not an idol. You don't put no, you don't, yeah. I don't, I, I don't, don't care for him. So, but, so. Right. but just like the women examples, you know, we see the Cardi B's and the Megs and we got folks that follow, women that follow them. It's the same idea. It's the same idea of the pedestal line. You know, like you said with Kevin, it's men that look up to him, yeah. and you feel like that's that's their ideals. I but don't. I, I hate that anybody looks up to these anyone. celebrities. I agree. And it's social younger, media influence. It's, probably, it's younger people. That this look shit up is to entertainment. Oh, man, oh, I like the way Meg. I like Meg songs. I like Cardi B. Hot, slow bun. That hoe is not it's what I aspire to be. Right now, it's hot girl summer didn't get hot by little kids. It didn't. What one hot from little kids? I mean, the shit, it was a bumping ass thing to say, but because I repeat this and because I say this don't mean that this I is what the this. fuck I want to do. Right. I'm going to bump that shit in the car and when they play it in the club, I'm going to turn up on it too. But right. that don't mean like this is what I'm trying to do. I'm do not you, going, Do you I'm care not, how that looks? Like, like Y'all not single. Y- y'all not single, are you? Go ahead, move on. <laughs> <laughs> want to do that? I ain't playing the fifth. Let's just say you say, let's just say for the sake of conversation, the single one, you don't think that that matters to the men that you might Potentially be what matters. What? No, Bumping we're not and dancing to that shit. You don't think so? You right. think we shouldn't bump? <laughs> we shouldn't up. bump songs that these that we like. So you never you didn't listen to no, too I'm short not, or none I'm of not, that shit. I'm not saying that? I'm not saying you shouldn't. Yeah, okay. I'm, I'm saying if you're doing something, let's like say you at, at the club and you 
bouncing your ass on top of the table. You don't no, think that that nobody, affects. But we're not going to bounce that. I'm not saying you, but they do. Plenty do. So thousands do. So that make me lose value because I bounce my ass on the table. I might bounce my ass. I bounce my ass. Not lose value to yourself. Okay. Not lose value to yourself. You gonna value yourself. Okay. But as a man, I'm looking at that like. I don't want my woman doing it. And I don't want you changing for me because what's going to happen when you want to do what you want to do, you're going to go right back to it. Mm-hmm. So you don't think that affects so you? So if you see this hoe bouncing on the table, you ain't going to be like, man, that bitch is good. Yeah, I mean, oh, I might strike yeah, it. I'm going to try to fuck. I might strike it. Okay. This is because we listen to that <laughs> and you can shake ass to that in the club. Right. But it's, it's still a manner that we're going to handle ourselves. We're going to shake right. ass in the club to it. No, we're not going to get on the table and do it. Yeah. But we're going to bounce ass in the club and... I nigga know what, what, a good what's time. going on. That, he yeah. he ain't gonna have no problem with it because he already know it's what he got. That, that's why he you know what I'm saying. But I can bump this so I can listen to this yeah. so all day, every day when I pull up at work. I'm not going to her as part of me. Mm. Right. Right. I'm yeah. going right. to do my motherfucking work. When we and when in the I club, get, we get supposed back to in the car and do the same thing. You know? Like who plays Kirk Franklin in the club? When right. when when you in wrong, act that way. When you right. they, you go to church, they're gonna play church music. You gonna clap this shit. When you go to club, they're gonna play church music. You gonna turn up. Fucking tell me when you go to work, you gonna do your work. You it's a face for So like let's not be dumb about this shit. We act nah, accordingly. I mean, it's just like, this how I see it. I get what you're saying. You shake ass here. At the club. You, you, you put your hands up at church. Mm-hmm. Gotcha. Mm-hmm. I, I get all that. What I'm saying, you, let's just remove the club because that's too much of a, a place where you shake ass. You watching TikTok. Mm-hmm. You watching Instagram. You see women with their daughters right there <laughs> bouncing their ass in front of their daughters. Yeah, nah, I ain't with that. That's that what I'm saying. So it's like, but... The Meg, the Stallions, the Cardi B's, or you can even let's let's flip it to Kevin Samuels again. You got men out here saying, "I never be with a black woman because they listen to Kevin Samuels." That's not a good impression that you want right. on your kids, and that's not. We have to look at this shit overall. Like what our culture is becoming. Our culture is becoming the most negative ever, and mm-hmm. we not saying shit. Mm-hmm. And that's why we do what we do. It's yep. like I, it's and, out of love, and, and that's why we do. That's why we do what we it. say and mm-hmm. and, and, and yeah. do because we try our best to like. Listen, we're human people. You know right. what I'm saying? We got right. jobs. We we're normal. You we we may get off the podcast and cry have a month. Like we're normal. You right, know what right, I'm saying? Right, right. It ain't no perfect. We don't live in a perfect world. We're not a celebrity. And right. that's what I'm like. Okay, normal people be normal. Like, yeah. cause I can be twerking my ass on TikTok or Instagram or whatever. And, and still be a good mama or a good right, wife right, right. or a good but my baby's right. not gonna be right here while I'm doing it. Right. You know what I'm saying? But, but you know, to say good wife, now that this, of course it would be the man that, that salutes, chooses you to be his wife. Mm-hmm. But he determines what's a good wife. You see what I'm saying? Like yeah. because he's the husband. He's the one guy too. That's what uh, so that's okay. the point. Yeah. Not not yeah. I'm not even I talking at you. I, yeah, yeah. But you see what I'm saying? Talking. But it's like we look at that like that ain't gonna make a good wife. It'll make a good smash for the night. You feel so me? So if I you said we can't bring up club. Go ahead, go ahead. Yeah. That was just for my example. Yeah. So if I shake ass in the club, I won't be a good wife. That's not that. To 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 y'all. Wait, hold on, wait. Yeah, yeah. He used the example of on the table for a reason. Yeah. Cuz cuz I'm not a prude. I didn't say on the table. I I'm, no, saying, I'm not a, I'm, okay. I'm saying I'm not a prude. You can shake ass. Right. Okay. But I'm saying but it's it's levels <laughs> to and shit and I, and I view yeah. shit different mm-hmm. than you may be with because I'm marrying you. And that's a yeah. Well, we got to wrap it up because we get yeah, we, 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 we getting close <laughs> into it. But man, but, this was Oh wow. Yeah, wow. Like I said man it flew by um and and just to kind of to put a bow on the thing. This the reason why we wanted to do this because you know we knew we was gonna have opposing views, but the whole point is to have the conversation. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And when we seen y'all content, we knew we were gonna disagree on some stuff, but right. sure. we felt like we could have a healthy conversation because I'm sure y'all gonna have women on y'all time, <laughs> bitch ass niggas. They don't know hey. what they talking about, <laughs> and we yeah. and we gonna have men on our side, bro. Y'all finally said something, yeah. but the goal is to get that group of men, that group of women to have the conversation. Right. Without the bitch ass nigga. I'm yeah. so glad y'all had us on here because a lot of our audience yeah. think we can't be civilized with men. Right. They say we over you, you guys all the time. Yes. Big difference. Like when y'all yeah. 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 dealing with uh, men. Uh, uh, we know. <laughs> we know. Yeah, yeah that was bad. Said, uh, it's still up. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's not. And we're not here for this when it comes over there. No. Nah, but fine. yeah, they yeah. say we over talk our guests all the time right. with men. We never let them talk and we do What a man gonna do. Anyway, but yeah, yeah so big it. difference between a man and a bitch ass nigga. nigga. Facts, big difference. So it's just you know, hey, we appreciate y'all. Uh, we respect, so. respect. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Period. We gotta do this again. Yeah, yeah. So, man, yeah. I love we're this. gonna book you guys. Let's, Let's go. go. Yeah, yeah. Quarterback that time. yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> so y'all look. Thank y'all for coming on. Um, do y'all want to get y'all IG? Yeah, yeah. Look yourself. Yeah, yeah. Y'all uh, make sure y'all go. 
follow us on Two Broken Eggs Podcast on IG and uh, Amber Allen on Facebook. For yeah, sure. and also go subscribe on all major platforms to <laughs> our podcast. Don't forget that. Oh, yeah, uh, yeah, Everywhere yeah. you can find us. All right. Uh, so, y'all, on that note, we're going to wrap this thing up. Hold up, y'all. I really like this. This was dope. <laughs> this was nice. This conversation <laughs> got to happen. You know, because it's like we talking and we're yeah. we're communicating and still we're listening, fighting. too. Yeah. yeah. Like, you know what I'm right. saying? I'm yeah. with it. I'm so with it. So, it starts it. here, face ass. <laughs> <laughs> it starts here. We're going to set the tone for yeah. getting our black men and our yeah. black women together. Yeah. That's right. what we got to do. I, I really do appreciate y'all having us, for sure. Shout out to Brinks for linking us. Yeah, Shout out my TV. Boy, Yo. come on. Mm-hmm. He can't wait till this junk drops. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. okay. So, y'all, look, on that note, we're gonna wrap this up. So, for you guys, here's the five. You got CJ 100. We are the 5 100 podcast. You dig. <laughs> okay. <laughs>